Worldwide TV. Mom! Mom! Oh, Mom, can I go to circus camp? Mm, I don't think so. Bet I can quit school and you can loan me out to a circus and I'll make gobs of money. No one in this family has any imagination. I really loved going surfing, although it was freezing. I didn't think it would be that cold. And I also really liked the circus. That was fun. And the car chase. Let's do this. This June, experience the most thrillidelic, super awesome summer adventure ever. Judy Moody and the Not Bummer Summer. So much fun because I love the character herself. She's so independent. She's spunky. She's a leader, not a follower. She always has a plan coming up. She always has a good time. It was very exciting and it was even more exciting when I actually got on set because I just saw all the elements from the books just come alive in real life between all the different other actors and the sets, the wardrobe, everything. It just came to life. I loved everything especially being on set myself i made so many friends it was a great experience and and set was always fun there was never a dull moment that was my favorite part hey how's it going this summer relativity media and smokewood entertainment bring one of the most popular children's book characters to life in judy moody and the not bummer summer haven't met judy yet well, here are 10 things you need to know about Judy Moody. Oh, that's a good thing. She's one of a kind. Judy Moody is a fun-loving character who always means well. Once she gets an idea, she sticks to it, and she won't stop until she gets it done. The Judy Moody mega rare, not bummer summer dare. She's just this amazingly cool kid, and she has, you know, her moods where something she'll be jealous that her friends are doing something better. She gets sad one day, or she gets happy one day. She's carefree, you know, she's not trying to be perfect. What's amazing about this book series is that Judy is such a forward-thinking, independent, spirited young girl. She doesn't fly, she's not a superhero, she doesn't do anything unreal, yet she makes everything really interesting. She's popular. Books starring Judy Moody have sold more than 14 million copies worldwide. She's been translated into 23 languages. It's really exciting and breathtaking, really, because I was a fan of the books. It's so important to teach the kids of the future how to have real fun. You don't have to be magical. You don't have to hurt people. You can have a positive message and have the best summer ever. If you're a diehard Judy Moody fan, you're going to look at this world and you're going to realize that it's absolutely come to life and been realized off the pages of the books. The script is like a new book, except it's on film. She's a winner. Winner of more than 30 Children's Literature Awards and appearing on the New York Times bestseller list, Judy Moody is beloved by kids, parents, teachers, and librarians alike. If you're a reader reading the books, you know Judy Moody. She's your best friend or your sister or somebody in your life. You know, we all know that we're capturing the authenticity, at least, of what Megan originally had in her head. And the film is the cinematic version of what her books have done. What we did is take important pieces of each of the books and put them into a new environment, essentially. She's got great style. Her pants and top and her socks and shoes never match. I think it's cool that kids can relate to that she's not like a perfect kid. She's kind of messy, her hair's sticking up, you know. Obviously it's really adorable, her little curl, but it's also just like her clothes are super funky. She looks just like somebody who's a free spirit and having fun. She's got her own vocabulary. Thick awesome. That, that's really cool to see all the long words she can make. Supercalifragilisticexpialidolic. Just on the spot like that, it comes out of her head. <laughs> If something is really awesome or excellent, she'll say rare. Wow, thanks, rare. She's got great friends. I call them the fabulous four, including Jordana, because these kids get along so well. And when they come together, their collaboration is something so unique and special. There's her best friend, Rocky, who lives a few doors down. There's Amy Namey, who, like Judy Mooney, has a rhyming name. And there's Frank Eats Paste Pearl. And Frank is kind of the, like the puppy dog of the group who will follow Judy and do anything. And they're kind of mean to Frank. Rocky and Amy are breaking the record the funnest summer ever. And I'm stuck with Franken-Screamer. Hey! She's sort of the leader among all her friends, the one with the big ideas, and she's gonna rope all of her friends into starting a club or searching for thrill points. She's got a brother named Stink. I, Judy Moody, am ready for the ultimate summer. 
and it doesn't include my brother Stink. He's um really funny. He always like to stink the place up. <laughs> She's got a fun aunt, Opal. Hey, whoa! It's really a unique little part that requires a lot of comedy and a lot of openness and a lot of creativity. You call that driving? And she looks just like Judy Moody. I think all of us saw her as an adult Judy. I think my character's so fun, and, and I like that the story's about just finding fun in life and kind of having this sort of like, almost like very deep attitude about life and how to find fun even in situations that might not be super obviously fun. She's looking for adventure. Judy decides to pursue her goal of the perfect summer despite her friends going away. So she's gonna accomplish everything on her chart. They're called thrills, and there's, you can get thrill points if you can do it. She's coming to theaters June 10th, 2011. All of us can relate to adventure and fun. I think the parents will get nostalgic for when they were younger, because all of this stuff is what we did when we were kids, hang out in tents and ride roller coasters, and it's really a movie for everyone. Enjoy it, have fun with it, show the movie to thousands of people. Judy Moody and the Not Bummer Summer. Started probably 10 years ago when I wrote the first Judy Moody book. I didn't even know it would become a series, but I really never dreamed that it would someday be on the big screen. My name is Amanda and I am eight. My name is Isabella and I'm nine years old. The movie, it was so good, and I have a, a, a I have a lot of books at home. I would give it high as it would go, as high as it would go, at least a million trillion zillion gillion million. I would give it like a million trillion zillion. 10,100 rating. That's my rating. My role, Stink, is, I think it's the best role. Because he's the second main character, and he is the only person that likes to look for stuff. Well, the character Stink in the book was funny, because in one book, um, this was the funniest part of the book, Stink's hair just blew up. It was funny. Um, it is... A game that I made up on set for 150 people, and there's words on it like Bigfoot, Ice, ice Cream, and Pond Scum. For each word you get that I say in the movie, you get one point. Unless you roll Ice Stink, then you automatically win. But if, if you, but if the person you write rolls Ice Cream, then they win. And Ice Cream beats Ice Stink because every time I say Ice Cream, Judy's always in a bad mood or stuck to something and Scat starts the game over. The game is Scatter, and I don't have it with me right now, but I will get it in like one sec, I think. Like, pretend I got Bigfoot. Pretend I got Bigfoot, that's a point. All the points that it says on the instructions are the words I say most, and that's what we put on the dice. It was just so funny and when it comes out and when it comes out in theaters you should really see it yeah it was just, my favorite part was i think when judy got sawed in half well when Aunt, when she figured out and opal was coming my favorite line in that scene was she could be totally evil she could be a zombie for all i know I pretty much like the fact that they were like doing a high-speed chase. It was like, and then the sack, and then the tracker fell off. Yeah, and that was really funny. Yeah. Really funny, the best. TV. Check us out on the web.